Finally, SpaceX reveals their plan of turning CO2 into rocket fuel. Well, we've got some exciting news from the founder and CEO of SpaceX, Elon Musk. The world's richest man has announced that his company SpaceX is embarking on a daring new mission to turn CO2 into rocket fuel. The most influential man in the world announced this news days after he was announced as the most influential person of the year by Time magazine. On Monday, Musk tweeted that SpaceX is starting a program to take CO2 out of the atmosphere and turn it into rocket fuel. Please help if interested. Musk on Twitter had previously announced that he would contribute $100 million in prize for the first carbon capture device. Well, let's move on to know the reasons behind this decision of turning CO2 to rocket fuel. Stay tuned. So why did Musk all of a sudden announce that his firm will work on turning carbon dioxide into rocket fuel? The major reason is climate change. Firstly, climate change has drastically changed the world's atmosphere and landscape in a negative way. Human activities are the primary cause of climate change owing to the combustion of fossil fuels, such as coal, oil, and gas, which emit heat-trapping gases. Musk has been one of the most vocal proponents of climate change awareness. According to preliminary results, the global average atmospheric carbon dioxide in 2020 was 412.5 parts per million, a new record high amount, despite the economic slowdown caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. CO2 levels are higher than they've been in at least 800,000 years, and if this continues to happen, then catastrophe is just over the horizon. Carbon dioxide is a type of greenhouse gas, such as methane, nitrous oxide, and ozone, which absorbs and radiates heat. The main purpose of greenhouse gases is to keep the world warm to 59 degrees Fahrenheit, the optimum temperature, and make life on Earth sustainable. But increasing greenhouse gases have tipped the Earth's energy budget out of balance, trapping additional heat and raising the average temperature of the planet. To avert the worst effects of climate change, Prominent scientists predict that we'll need to remove as much as 6 gigatons of CO2 per year by 2023 and 1 gigaton per year by 2025. If Elon Musk's idea goes as planned, he'll rescue the world from a major calamity. This might help eliminate carbon emissions from the air, which may be a huge contribution to the battle against global warming and climate change. Secondly, it's Musk's dilemma of his very own firm. We all know that launching rockets is not an easy task. It takes a lot of materials, labor, time, and most notably, fuel, which results in pollution. The Falcon 9 rocket is powered by fossil fuels, namely Rocket Propellant 1, or RP-1, which is highly refined kerosene. As a result, each rocket launch consumes 29,600 gallons of fuel, or 112,184 kilograms, and each kilogram of fuel emits 3 kilograms of CO2, resulting in a total of 336,552 kilograms of CO2. According to some researchers, a SpaceX launch emits the same amount of CO2 as transporting 341 passengers over the Atlantic. Both the Falcon 9 rocket and the spaceship produce a lot of CO2 when they launch. On May 5th, the Starship SN15 produced 358 tons of CO2 on its maiden complete high-altitude flight. This is the same amount of CO2 as 4.6 million individuals in the United Kingdom released in the same period. A Starship flight with a super heavy booster will emit 2,683 tons of CO2 and 1.7 tons of nitrous oxide, which means it will be roughly twice as polluting when completed. By trapping carbon dioxide from the atmosphere where the rocket left it behind, and by doing some simple procedures, SpaceX can make up for what the rocket caused. The methane may then be used to fuel the following rocket, making it zero net emissions and in the process making Spaceship a carbon neutral rocket. Musk's ultimate goal is to enable the astronauts to establish the first permanent colony on Mars. The Raptor engines on SpaceX's spaceship use cryogenic liquid methane and liquid oxygen as a propellant, commonly known as methalox. SpaceX created the one-of-a-kind Raptor engines to allow the first Martian inhabitants to synthesize fuel. Now here's the catch. It's not easy to make fuel out of thin air, and making this will be one of the most tedious and thought-provoking works of the 21st century. So, how is SpaceX going to pull it off and make use of this great idea and bring them to reality? This isn't the first time Musk has mentioned it. In fact, he recently donated $100 million to an XPRIZE competition that sought the best proposals for CO2 capturing technology from around the world. The main objective is to remove 1,000 tons of CO2 from the environment each year, with the goal of rapidly scaling up the operation. At this time, however, this is an absolutely difficult task. I think this is one of those things that's going to take a while to figure out what the right solution is," said Musk in a statement. It all rests now on SpaceX and Musk, who will find out the best method to deal with the matter. 
If the human mind can imagine life on Mars, it can definitely figure out how to make it happen. Let's hope that we keep getting more exciting information from the SpaceX CEO. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to this channel. We'll see you in our next video coming soon.